Hey everyone, it's uh, Joe Glines here from The Automator, and today I'm talking with Tab Nation. We were on a call the other night, and it was kind of funny. We were talking about how some people ask for help, and we're going to give some examples here, but this call is going to be us just kind of chatting through it, and how to increase the likelihood that you actually get help if you have a question. So I hope you guys enjoy this. You're going to see it on both of our channels, so in case you get confused, he's going to have the same thing in his channel. All right, so like I said, we this you and I were talking the other night, Tom, about how fun and interesting some of the the requests we get for help like and and should i even dare say commands at times right i mean it's kind of crazy to me that it's one of the things of people on youtube are just used to getting stuff for free and i think that's part of it is they just some some don't get me wrong right there's a lot of my subscribers that are amazing and they actually investigate stuff on their own and then do some homework and stuff and then ask for help and those guys i love to help but then you have the other side where, what was the one, the one that I think you and I really started laughing about? Because you started the sentence and I'm like, I can finish the sentence for you. The person doesn't even bother to go find a video like related to the topic. They will post, you know, a statement like question, hey, do this for me. And it has nothing even to do with the video that they posted on. And it's kind of insane to me. Yeah, no, I mean, the two big comments I always get, uh, I call them demand comments, like you were saying where those I just completely ignore. I'll be honest, like, I'm not going to answer you. But then, yeah, I do get a lot of statement ones where people say something along the lines of, hey, I need a script that does this and this. And if it's a good day, I'll link some videos. And I'll be like, here, look at this video and that video, specifically these commands. But if it's kind of like an eh day, I'll be like, oh, cool, good to know. (laughs) That's awesome. So as an example, in case people don't understand it, they're like, yeah, I need this script to be able to do this when I hit the button. And yeah. that's when you just reply, that's cool, right? You know, it's, it is, it's hilarious. Um, I generally just answer people. And here's part of the thing, like, I wanted to, to help tell people was I never, you know, especially when they, they do it in an email. So some people will email me and say, you know, or they message me on Facebook and say, hey, I'd like this, you know, would you do this for me? And I'm like, like, first off, I don't help anybody unless I have a prior relationship with you and we've done stuff together, whatever. I don't help anybody one off. Right. I'm like, you know, it's got to be in a public area where maybe other people can see it and learn from it because I'm too busy. My time's worth too much in order to be helping one person. I don't even know with something that, you know, like is random. And and then I got to help the very next person on the same exact question. Right. And that to me is why I'm like, no, I, I don't do one offs where no one else will see it you know, sorry, you know, post it in a forum somewhere and maybe I'll reply or someone else will. Yeah. And I think a great thing about this video is, you know, people don't really think of our side or not just our side, but just anybody general that, you know, our channels. And another thing too, to point out with this video is we're centered around auto hockeys, but this applies to like learning anything on YouTube or the internet, any type of language is that we're here to educate you, not give out free labor basically and i think that's very easy for people to forget that we're here to teach you to do it yourself not for us to do it for you Uh, so yeah i think that's something always that people just kind of they think of their side but not our side so it can be something that gets lost in transition and makes us not want to help you (laughs) yeah Yeah. and uh and i'm a big believer which is exactly what you're saying is I'd love to teach people how to fish. You know, I will I will work very hard to help you if you want to learn, right? But I'm not going to do it for you. And, and I'm one of those people, I will, I kind of do like you said, even on my, my best times, I don't give them the solution. I will point them to things and say, look at this. Here's an example, right? Of that, you need to adapt it, you know, but it's not going to solve it. But get them to at least think about it because if you don't do that, no one learns. And then they just keep them, the, you know, whether they're bugging me or someone else, okay, right? Okay. They need to learn. What's yeah, that? yeah, they'll just keep coming back and back over and over again. <laughs> right, right, yeah. And, yeah. and so, we notice trends. You know, I notice people who are asking questions or demand or statement questions over and over again. So, yeah, maybe I helped you the first time, but if you're just going to keep coming back and back, like, I'm going to help you less and less and less every single time. Some other things to keep in, mu- in mind. You know, if you do have a specific question, first off, don't send me a 10,000-line script. You know, send something that's just relevant, the things I need to know, you know, and again, post it actually on a, on a question somewhere, somewhere in the forum or wherever where, I, where other people can see it, but post the relevant information. 
Also, offer up other things, kind of like you, you and I were talking the other day about version two, auto hockey versus, versus one. Say what version you're using. Say your operating system. You know, other things that we really kind of need to know to help understand. You know, what fitness you're using. These are all things that are really helpful for us to know. Be like, oh, you know what? You're right. That doesn't work in 32 bit, or it doesn't work in 64 bit, and just run it in the other fitness. Yeah, and then taking that extra 30 seconds to even give us a simple piece of information like that can save you an entire hour because you ask that question, you leave out that, you know, that small insignificant piece of data that you're thinking. I have to sit there and ask, well, what version are you using? What operating system are you on? You know, and then you're not going to see that probably for an hour because you're working or doing something. That's an hour delay now in giving your answer for something that took you, you know, just say hey, an extra 30 seconds. Hey, maybe the data was completely useless, but maybe it'll save you an hour in the long run. Well, in my experience as well, and Jackie and I, I think we covered this in the podcast at one point, but by writing that down and talking through and making sure you have the relevant information, often you'll actually solve the thing yourself. You know, yeah. you realize, oh, I was, you know, I'm calling this function that's not in my library. And you know, that's a big one. I'm sure you see a lot too. It's like, this says, you know, um, no function, you know, it's not included. Let's calling a function. Like you need to include the function, you know? <laughs> You need to put it either in your script or in your library or use an include. Um, rubber, duck, rubber duck coding, basically. Is absolutely, what right. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you go, you brought it up, you explain what that is. I mean, the way I explain it is I actually in the office would always have a little rubber duck that I want from one of those claw machines. And ducks, they don't know how to code. They're, you know, they don't even know how to use a computer. So you Not sit yet. there and you, you talk to your duck about, okay, so this right here, this is called a hotkey. And what that does is when I press a button on the keyboard, it does this. Now I have to make sure I include this for it to work. And then a lot of times you'll be like, oh my gosh, I forgot a comma here. You know, so basically you're dumbing it down to the very basics for a, a rubber duck who does not understand coding. And you'll find the simplest thing you might have missed that's causing your entire script to fail. Yeah, I, I've heard it referenced as a, a bobblehead approach too, right? You talk to a bobblehead, yeah. but basically you explain it. You think of someone else, they don't have to be a programmer and you start explaining the problem you're having to them. And often, and I've done this myself for plenty of times when you're doing that and, and you can't, let me clarify something here. When we say, say it out loud, we're being literal because if you mentally just do it in your head, it, it doesn't work, right? You actually have to, yeah, or write it or whatever, but you got to actually get it out of your brain. And that's when suddenly the light will go off in your head and you're like, Oh, I'm an idiot. Um, yeah. So yeah, that, that's a great one. The other one is uh, and, and another tip, which, which you brought this up the other day was th that whole thing of like, people will ask you questions. Hey, this doesn't work. And they give you something and it's not even our code, you know? And it's like, Hey, I don't even work in that area. Like people ask me stuff with GUIs all the time. And I tell people, I, I don't really work with GUIs. You know, I'm like, I, I just don't. Um, I've kind of played with them, but Isaiah is for, for my team. He does them. But it, it's like you asked me about a GUI. I'm like, you know, you need to go to the forum or ask someone else. I don't I don't know those. Yeah. Now, I get that all the time where someone's like, hey, the script doesn't work. And it will, it'll take me like minutes. I'm just sitting there looking at it. I'm like, what video did I do where I did this script? And, and it wastes my time. So even just saying like, hey, like I found this on the forum over here, like can help us too. So, you know, letting us just know who the creator is and then maybe reaching out to the creator and not us can be a big help too. Awesome. All right, you're gonna, now we didn't, I don't think we brought this one up the other night, but I, I can't wait to see your face on the reaction to this, right? Okay. Let's say you have like a, it's a lot, let's say you have a 30, 40 minute video, right? And someone will say, yeah, this, this, this doesn't work. You know, or, hey, what, what did you do right here? And you're like, right where? They give you a link to the video. You're like, right where? What doesn't work? Like, what are you talking about? You know, this is a 45-minute video. How about you give me a timestamp at least, right, to say to jump to here and know what it is? Because I'm like, I did that video three years ago. I don't know what in the world I even covered in that, you know, let alone I'm not going to go rewatch a 45-minute video to try to figure out what you're referring to. So those timestamps are really helpful. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I always like the saying, uh, when I created this code, only God and I knew how it worked. Now only God knows. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're writing tons and tons of scripts. I, I can't count how many I've written. 
so I mean, even a script I wrote two weeks ago, it's like, if you tell me there's an issue, tell me what line you think it's on, what section, you know, at least that's going to pinpoint me in the direction versus me having to like recompile my own script and remember what it was I was doing, what my goal was. Right. So yeah, no, I agree. That's definitely yeah. helpful with the timestamps. Yeah. So another good point, which you just brought up there too, is also include, you know, an actual, so I like to tell people, give me the darn script file. Don't, don't send me a picture of the thing. And, and usually when they do that, it's not of the whole thing. And so I'm like, I don't, I don't know what you're referring to. I have to go track back where the entire script was you know, in order for me to put it into a tool that I can try to run it. So give me the whole script, you know, at least the relevant part and let me make it easy for me to troubleshoot it. But yeah, the whole, here's an image of a subset of something that, like you said, we did six months ago, a year ago, and how many thousands of things have we done since then? Like, it's just, yeah, it's, it's crazy. And if it's a script you wrote, and you take a picture, you know, I'm going to have to sit there and retype everything off the image. Now, images are good when it comes to, like, air boxes, that kind of stuff. And, and there are websites out there, which I'll link one in my description below, where you can upload a picture very easily and then link it. That's fine, because, you know, if we can see the air, you know, hey, it's saving you time on versus having to take out an air. So pictures are fine when you do you know, maybe the program or something you're using, but yeah, definitely not code. I, I have gotten a few of those before, especially well, on Facebook for some reason. What I tell the people when I am willing to help them, I will tell them because I'm as late, I'm just this lazy too, you know, but I still, I'll say, Hey, I give them the entire syntax, you know, code in a file, but I'll record a video documenting what the problem is and talking through hey, I'm running this, and I, and I just talk through this stuff, and I'm like, I'm okay with that, because writing it out and explaining it clearly, especially if it's something weird, like when I click this, this happens, that could be really hard to type out and explain very clearly. So in a video, it's super easy, and I can watch it, and usually it's like a you know 10 or 20 second video. I'm like, oh, I, you know, I can see what's going on. I see the error, like you mentioned. I can see the script in the background, but or at least the highlighted stuff. But make sure you give me the, the actual file as well. Yeah, for sure. And then another thing, too, that I wanted to bring up that uh, I, I think it's kind of funny that I have to bring it up <laughs> just because it seems like it would be common sense, but apparently not, is all programming languages, they've been out for a while. So there's a good chance that somebody has already had your problem. Kind of going back to where you're saying, do it in a public place. Yeah. That way it's out there for the yeah. next person. So Google. Yeah. That's the first thing we should do is Google. There's so many times where I'll get a question. Hey, is there a, a script that does this? And I'm like, hey, you know, to be honest, it, it only took me 20 seconds to Google and find the exact thing you were looking for. And that's going to save you tons of time, everybody's time. And then you're not spamming a whole bunch of the same posts out there that already exist. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Jackie, for several years, and I think he still is an admin, he just doesn't um, do as much as he used to, on the Auto Hockey Forum. And the number of people that come there and ask the same question over and over and over is just insane. Uh, oh, and it's, yeah, I totally, I mean, that should have been the first thing we mentioned was make sure you search for it. And don't just search for it, even though the forum is a great place. You know, I would also say Stack Overflow the subreddit in discord i don't can you search discord i don't know i don't i don't do much on discord it, you can but it's, eh, it's okay it's not very great <laughs> but but reddit and disc um sorry stack overflow are two really good sources for for looking for if this is someone's had this problem before um, and then yeah making making sure you explain what what it is you're looking for now here i will understand is sometimes i'll be trying to do something and i don't know the technology behind it Right. And then that's where I'll agree. I don't even know how to search for something. And that's usually when I reach out to people like Jackie or someone, I'm like, this is what I'm trying to do. Is that called something? Cause I don't even know what to, you know, what to search for. Yeah, no. And that makes sense. You know, I've ran into that before too. It's like, I, you know, I visually know what I want to do, but I don't know how to put it into text to Google it. And that's perfectly fine, but make sure you mention that, you know, there's so many times where people will say in a subreddit, they could sit there and say, how do I do this? Right. I'm not going to get help. But if you say, hey, I tried Googling right, it, correct. but I'm not really sure yeah. what I should be Googling. Right. You're going to get That's more usually help. what I ask is, yeah. yeah. So just laying how, out the steps in the right direction. Done. Yeah. Even now, like the simple steps, like I've Googled this, is going right. to help me. 
No, that's actually a really good point too. Absolutely. Tell them, give you a little bit. Here's the things I try. Cause I'll tell you what, this gets back to, we're trying to make sure people watch this video, get the help they're asking for. Right. And when I first start reading a comment somewhere and they say, I tried this, I tried this, I tried this. Suddenly I'll actually real re- read it and go, all right, maybe I can help this guy. Cause they've tried. Right. I'm like, if someone's given a little bit of effort, I'm much more likely to help them. The, the other one, which I had thought of was, cause we're, 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 you know, we're, we're human. <laughs> at least, at least I am. I'm, I'm not sure about you. No, I'm kidding. Um, what I would say is after, you know, when we do help you, Hey, thank us, you know, or share some of our scripts and say, Hey, you know what? Hey, this guy's done a good job. I like this video. You know, we don't, we're not necessarily asking for money, but just sharing, you know, our channels or posts is a big help to us. Oh yeah. And even something as simple on, a thumbs up on Reddit, you know, that actually, when someone's and then, oh, first of all, just telling us that, thank you. I, right. I got it working. Cause then I'm sitting there kind of sometimes wondering like, you know, did this person just give up? Is it, did they figure it out? So just, yeah, yeah just replying back and saying that, Hey, thank you. Thumbs up to you. Yep. It actually means a lot to the person. Cause it's just kind of, it's like closure. You know, actually I'll take that a little for, for, uh, further, excuse me, because you're spot on, right? I, in a lot of ways, stopped helping random people because I I have the feeling, because I know from just in real world working with them, the vast majority of people I end up doing stuff for don't end up using it anyway. And it just, it just you want to beat your head against a wall because you spend time and then they don't even use it. Um, mm-hmm. So what I, I got to say, I live for more than anything, more than money, you know, this and that, is when people write me after the fact and say, Joe, you know, I've been either watching your videos or think for you're the same. You have saved me hundreds of hours. I love getting these emails where basically I've changed people's lives. And it's it's a really, really rewarding feeling, right? And that encourages us, of course, to actually offer to help more people because yeah. you see it getting used, right? And that's for me is a real personal thing. I and mean, that's why I do what I do is it's it's it sure ain't for the money. I mean, you you know, well, you'll know soon. You're getting uh, monetized, you know, right away here. It you don't make much off of the YouTube actual, you know, your video views, right? It's it's a very small amount. Uh, but you know, getting, getting the reward that knowing you're making a difference in people's lives to me is just phenomenal. Oh yeah. And on YouTube, I have some of my favorite subscribers and these are people who every single time a video awesome. helped them, they make sure to let me know. They'll be like, Hey, this is awesome. I didn't know you could do that. You know, right. that makes me feel good because the whole purpose of my channel is to educate. So when I have, you know, it's like a teacher, when a student comes up and be like, Hey, I, you know, I learned something. That's, yeah, it's what an educational YouTube channel is really all about, is that education and getting rewarded that way through motivation. Yeah, I know. I'm sure it happens 10, you know, at least 10 times or 100 times more often than people actually tell me it did. But it's still, that's why it's just, it's great to hear when, when people reach back out and go, man, that, that saved me. Or I, yeah, I got a raise, you know, or I kept my job and everyone else was cut. I mean, there's a lot of things that happen that, that when you know auto hockey can really benefit you. Um, which again is- Another thing I wanted to kind of throw out there in the video is uh, when you're making a post, whether it's on Facebook or Reddit, you know, wherever, is read the rules. There's so many times people, you know, like in the subreddit for auto hockey's, there's one rule that's like, don't ask for scripts for player versus player video games. Mm-hmm. But we'll get at least one, two every single week where someone's asking that. And it's like, you know, when the mod sees that, they're just going to delete your post and you're going to oh, sit there maybe. confused. Why, why did my post get deleted? Oh, or get or shadow. Or going to help you. And, or you're going to get a ton of down votes. And right. that's a bad feeling is you, you sit there and you're like, I just asked a question. Why is everybody downvoting me? It's like, well, you didn't read the rules. <laughs> and that's going to save you time. It's, you know, going to save the mods time. It's going to save everybody time. And you're not going to be sitting there con- left confused on what just happened. No, that's, that's, a, that's a good point as well, right? Because every forum or every you know place we're doing it has different rules on what, what's allowable. Actually, I noticed other main Facebook group, there's... The one I manage is like 1.5 thousand people. Then there's another one. It's like 1.2 thousand. They have a standing post at the beginning that basically says, kind of like what you said, something about don't ask for you know something that's like an automation on a game. Um, yeah. So you know, just reading that for a few seconds, that's going to save everybody time. The rules are there for a reason. <laughs> 
So There's hopefully that helps you guys. You know, we don't have rules on our YouTube pages. <laughs> so it's a little harder on our side. Right. Yeah. So I hope this helps people. And we, you know, brought up some of the stuff is kind of a painful joke of it's when, when you're a YouTuber, you, you know, you're like, it's so familiar to you and it comes with the territory. Right. So I don't want to, like I said, the vast majority of people watching my videos and subscribers and stuff, they're great. You know, courteous, they don't ask for crazy stuff, but you get the one-offs and, you know, especially actually you had mentioned, and we don't have to go into details, but there were like someone really even like kind of demanded and got really mad at you, pissy with you, right? That you wouldn't do something for him. Yeah. I had a guy who, this is a while ago. He, he, so I had my discord username on um, like the description of my channel or whatever. This guy reaches out to me. And at first he's like, Hey, I was hoping you could help me. And he was pretty nice at first. So I was you know, willing to hear him out. But then he just like described this insane script that I was like, I was like, to be honest, like, you know, I would charge for something like this. And he's like, yeah, I'll give you 20 bucks. I was like, whoa. I was like, I was like, I'll be honest with you. This is probably one of the most complicated requests I've ever got by a long shot. So I was like, I would be looking more for something like $200 an hour for something like this. Cause this is the most crazy thing I've ever done. And it's going to take me, eight hours to code something like this and he just got so mad with me he's like no 20 bucks he's like i need it within two hours so <laughs> i was like i was like no no i was like sorry i can't help you see and he just every single yeah. day he would message me like twice going how's the script coming and i kept telling him i'm not doing it and he's like well, what's the point of you doing YouTube videos? I'm like, so that you can do them. Like, what do you mean? And I finally just blocked the guy. But yeah, he like harassed me, like demanding that I do it. And I was like, just like, I've had people who give me demand comments like, hey, make a script that does this. Okay, whatever. Like, this is the first time I've ever like, been harassed by someone who was like, I felt oh. like he was going to hunt me down, like force me to sit at a computer and code for him. It was crazy. What was that stupid movie? He's probably uh, watching this video right now. Right, yeah. There was one with John Travolta and and someone else where they, they forced him to be doing this coding stuff. Hugh Jackman was like the coder. And I, I forget what, it was a stupid movie, but um, <laughs> that is that is funny of just like this, yeah, you know, we're going to hold a gun to your head and, and do all this stuff to get yeah. you to, you know, it's like, come on, dude. I See, that guy, like, I would have been like, oh, I'm 20 bucks? I'm on it. Like, you know, oh, I can't wait. Oh, I sent it to you. Check your spam. No, no, I sent it to you. I'll send it again. Give, give me a minute. I'll send it and just keep keep them, you know, hanging over and over because it's like, you're just wasting my time. I'm going to waste yours. Oh. Here's my next That's script funny. that I'm going to write later tonight, a Rick Roll script where I say, okay, here's the code. You just press F1. And it's going to automatically open a YouTube page. And he's just going to be sitting there, never going to let you go. <laughs> I'm definitely writing that script yeah, for situations That's awesome. Like that. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that's great. Yo. Look forward to that on my channel where I do a video of how to rickroll people. <laughs> it's yeah. it's funny. It's suddenly going to be the most popular video ever, right? Is uh, all these people going to it. What? What is I don't get. There's something wrong with the script. <laughs> going to be great. And just to throw this out there for everybody who's viewing this video right now, if you guys have any other points that we don't talk about in this video on how you think you could get better help or, you know, just etiquette and that kind of stuff, definitely put them in the comments below so that we can share them with everybody. Cause we definitely probably missed some stuff that we didn't think about in this video. Yeah. Well, one is, and I'm not saying you have to do this, but, you know, offering to give some money. It doesn't have to be equal to what it'd be for the work. We're offering after the fact, you know, by, buying, you know, giving us 20 bucks or 10, whatever it is, depending on the thing. That never hurts, you know, and oh, it yeah. just, it, it's nice to everyone. Else. It's actually the reward for me. I used to make a lot of money when I worked at corporate America, right? So when, when I hear someone offering me 20 bucks or something, I'm like, this conversation wasn't even worth 20 bucks, let alone work I'm going to do for you, you know? Um, so I tell people, look, it's not that the, you gave me 10 bucks or five bucks. It's that you felt you received value and you gave me some, 
you know, and that makes me feel like, hey, it was actually worth something to them, you know, and that's a good, really good feeling. Oh, yeah, everybody's value is different. So, you know, it's yeah. always appreciated well, to you show us what it was worth to you. And there are, you know, there's people that live in other countries where, you know, 20 bucks is a lot of money, right? right. So that, that's why I'm like, I tell people, it's okay if you're in third world countries or wherever where 20 bucks is a week's worth of work. They, yeah, don't send me any money, man. It's okay, you know. And I see that a lot on Reddit, too. It just the niceness of people where they'll they'll say, hey, I, I need a script that does X, Y, Z. I'm willing to pay 20 bucks. And you'll get so many people who will comment on there and be like, right. hey, th- don't worry about it. Here's the code, right. you know. Right. So a lot of times people won't even accept your money. They're just happy to help you, give you some pointers and ho- hope you learn. So next time you don't have to offer money. But still, it's not a bad way to actually get can be painful. But um, yeah, throwing it out there at the beginning, I'm willing to you know spend some money on this. Oh, no, it definitely draws the attention of a lot of people. That's for sure. <laughs> I mean, even like five bucks, like it draws people's attention. You know, and it's, again, like, it's from I don't know if you're a Seinfeld fan. It's it's found money. You know, it's, it's just an extra little bit of money that I now have. I'm like, hey, it's handy. You know, it's nice. I like that found money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, is that it? You think? Yeah, that's all I can think of. Like I said, you know, anybody viewing this, throw in the comments below if we miss something or you have an idea of a good way to get better help. Absolutely. All right, man. It's great talking to you. Cheers. All right. See you guys.